The girl who faked her life has now reached a new level of insanity, doxing not only me, but other YouTubers involved. And it's safe to say, ladies and gentlemen, that she has finally gone too far. But as I mentioned, I was indeed doxed by Lily Jean, but not just me, my entire family, because we all know there's nothing more morally correct than dragging innocent people into it. But I'm sure you can all agree that her decision to dox me was a very stupid move, and now she's thinking to herself, how can I be more stupid? I know, let me dox Premink. But see, ladies and gentlemen, for Lily Jean and her mother, that wasn't enough. They need to find out what the pinnacle of stupidity looks like. So what did they do? Well, they threatened to take legal action against the journalist covering her story. So as you can see, we've got a lot to talk about today. You know, the horse girl and the Wicked Witch of the West have done a lot of things. But I will say, ladies and gentlemen, she has yet to give up on trying to copyright strike my channel. She's still going as we speak. Oh, there's another email. Hello. But I will say, Lily Gina Mother, I admire the grind. You've dedicated so much time over the years to faking your fame, striking people, filing false police reports against people, that if you use that time correctly, you could have actually been famous by now. Sucks to suck. But before we get into the video today, I've recently made two videos on Lily Jean which are pretty detrimental to this one. But don't worry, if you haven't seen it, I'll give you a nice little speedy recap, you know what I'm saying? Lily Jean was basically claiming that she was famous even though she wasn't. But now she actually is famous just for all the wrong reasons. She's famously known for going to the Met Gala. Well, whoa, she didn't. She didn't go to the Met Gala, did she guys? Who was it actually at the Met Gala? It was Katy Perry, thank you very much. She also claimed to be on the cover of Teen Vogue, which is pretty hilarious considering Teen Vogue stopped printing those magazines years ago so it was obviously just photoshop. She pretended she was being chased down by paparazzi but she wasn't. It was just her mum taking those pictures. She also claims to have 1.1 million followers on Instagram, but that's just full of shit because most of them are just little mini micro bots created by Lily Jean. But now that I've said that, are you going to send your bots to the UK to cause me some serious damage? Is this how Terminator 2 begins? And she claims that all this evidence is bull and that she actually is famous. Well, let me tell you this, Lily Jean, right? The day where your fame becomes a reality is the day that Jerry shits on my cream carpet. And that's never gonna happen. But what we have to learn about Lily Jean is she refuses to take criticism. She refuses to take accountability for faking everything. So now, it's gone from just a harmless kind of, you know, poking fun to now her trying to literally strike people's videos down. And she has successfully done that to many, many people. She just has yet to do it to me. And that pissed her off. And I like that. <laughs> Do you think you're unhinged, Lily Jean and Mother? Do you think you're insane? Do you think you've got an edge over people? You dox me and I laughed straight in your face. That's how unhinged I am. The day that you silence me will be the day that I fly to the moon bollock naked for the world to see. And yes, of course, you dox Premink. You also failed to silence him and we'll be talking about that a little bit later. But let's talk about what led to the doxing. Very recently, there was a YouTuber known as Cleo, a lovely Belgian YouTuber. I got it right that time. Bonjour. Had her video strike down by Lily Jean and the monstrosity. She approached me via email asking me what to do about the situation. What is possible? Is there a way to defeat the the almighty Lily Jean. Which, yes, there is a way. It's called Kryptonite. <laughs> and after releasing that video defending Cleo and the things that had happened, Lily Jean quickly turned her sights to me. They filed a police report against me and also doxed me and my family on social media. They also filed a false police report against Cleo and claimed that her releasing that video had somehow started a free Palestine riot. <laughs> Which, I'm not sure how those two correlate. Alright, let me just release this video annihilating Lily Jean and her mother. Public. Oh god, did I just start World War III? Oh. They also claimed in the police report that I was apparently a legal representative for Cleo, which that would have made me a lawyer, I guess. Thank you very much. But that was her police report. My police report was pretty different and the doxing uh, thread that she released was also a bit strange. I mean, there was a lot of bad information in there, but some of it was correct, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be doxing. One thing she claimed in the police report, which was absolutely hilarious, is that I was a 27-year-old man and that Lily feared for her life being Jewish and only five foot. Right, okay. Yeah, that's right, guys. I'm a 27-year-old big hulk of a man, seven foot tall, gonna fly from the UK to the US just to hurt them. In fact, I couldn't even fly over an economy. They had to build a special plane just to support my mass. I'm like Puss in Boots from Shrek. I may look all cute on the outside, but get on the wrong side of me. <laughs> You're f***ed, man. And then they went on to say that apparently I live stream on Twitch where I play with kids, which I'm not sure where that came from. I've never live streamed on Twitch in my life. <laughs> and in the doxing thread, they pretty much just listed my parents' Facebooks, where they work, what kind of jobs they have, listed my uncle, which he's not my uncle, but <laughs> whatever. And in fact, they were so bad at finding information, they somehow got my parents' jobs correct, but they couldn't even link the right YouTube channel. They linked some poor bloke's YouTube channel with less than 100 subscribers, which I'm kind of offended. You do realize I've got 80,000, right? <laughs> yeah. 
But it's hilarious how they act like they're the victim, but how are you the victim? You're literally attacking people and releasing private information to the public. And before we get into the wrath that Pre-Mink received from Lily Jean and her mother, I have a theory. I know I've mentioned The Truman Show in the past, which if you don't know, The Truman Show is basically a movie about a guy who lives in a world that is fake. He is surrounded by actors, actresses, nothing is real, it's all fabricated. But he himself believes it's real. Like, he's grown up since he was a baby inside this massive studio that he calls the, the world. And then I began to think to myself, what if Lily Jean isn't to blame? What if the mother has created this false reality around Lily Jean, making her believe that she is famous, making her believe that there's real articles about her, making her believe that she actually was on the cover of Vogue? What if her mother has just been feeding her all this bullshit? this whole time. Like Lily Jean goes to bed one night and Lily Jean's mother's there hiring people to make a fake Vogue cover and then waking Lily Jean up in the morning being like, look, you're on the cover of Vogue. I feel like that could be a reality to be honest, considering almost every copyright strike request I've received is from Lily Jean's mother. The doxing was done by Lily Jean's mother. Everything seems to be going through Lily Jean's mother. It's possible this whole false reality was created by the mother. Like maybe Lily Jean even thinks her followers are real, but it's actually her mother just botting her account. Like, that, that, that's very plausible in my opinion. But as I mentioned, Premink did indeed release a new video, which, to be honest, it was absolutely great. I mean, he literally proved the fact that Lily Jean is still faking her life until this very day. After all these years, she's still doing it. He even debunked the articles that are being released on her. Lily Jean, five things I wish someone told me when I first became a filmmaker. Now, props to Premink, he did some investigation work, and it turns out those articles aren't even real. They hired somebody off Fiverr to make those articles. So, yeah, she's still doing it. And the statement I said at the beginning of the video is very true. If they spent so much time like they do actually trying to become famous, she could probably have done it by now. But she just spends all of her time just creating this false f***ing imaginary reality. And to even set out on a journey in the first place to fake being famous, you have to have a few screws loose in the head. You have to be desperate for attention. But turns out me and Premink have something in common. Lady Jean had claimed that I was apparently playing with children on Twitch. Well, they said the same thing about Premink, so let's take a look at this. Further feel free to let Premink Farm know that we have given their real names to the DA's office, along with screenshots from their Discord YouTube server, as they have a penchant for playing with children. I mean, it just seems really lazy, to be honest. You have all this time to fake everything, but you don't have enough time to make up separate lies about us. And sh really hit the fan, ladies and gentlemen, when Premink released his video and he shared it on Twitter. Your account has been locked because X received a complaint DMCA notice for content posted on your X account. And his Twitter received a DMCA strike for a link he posted on Twitter. They're really just trying to throw all kinds of stuff at people at this point. Like, put that into perspective, ladies and gentlemen. They literally went over to his Twitter after he released his video and striked his Twitter post. All it was was a link, okay? But it gets even worse. I mean, Premink's Twitter is just full right now of just stuff that Lily Jean has been doing to him. I don't think they figured out yet that if you guys literally stop attacking YouTubers and trying to remove their videos, nobody would talk about you. Not a single soul would mention your name. The problem is, you're coming at us, yeah? You're not just gonna sit down and shut up like good boys, you know what I mean? Someone mysteriously added my full name and location to my Wikitubia page. Hmm, I wonder who could have done this? Who in this whole world would have something against Premink? Oh right, yeah. A day later, Lily Jean's page was permanently deleted by Wikitubia staff. What a shame. What a shame indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, ooh, what a shame. Please, ladies and gentlemen, help me in the comment section. What does Lily Jean and her mother have to benefit from doing these things? There's more questions about what's going on in Lily Jean's mind right now than there is about how the universe started. And that's the ironic thing with the hypocrisy that apparently she claims that we are stalking her. We are bullying her. We are not leaving her alone. But yet she's literally stalking us and our family members and trying to find out our real names and addresses. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I will say, right, props to Premink. He's really doing a lot here. He's managed to get in touch with a journalist to, like, you know, cover the story of what's been happening with Lily Jean and how she's been trying to false copyright strike create us. And that journalist has reached out to almost all of us that have a connection with Lily Jean. And do you remember earlier on when I said Lily Jean and her mother was trying to discover what the pinnacle of stupidity was? Well, somehow they've gone beyond that, if that's even possible. Lily Jean doxed Premink to the journalist covering her doxing. Are you f***ing serious? There's no way. 
Are you that stupid? It can't be serious, guys. No way. And the journalist messaged Preeming saying, Hey, so I'm still working on this and reached out to Lily. She emailed my bosses threatening legal action and included your full name. Just wanted you to be aware that she's doing that. You had this one amazing chance to prove maybe even a little bit of your innocence. And you fucked it. As per usual. And then, of course, it gets even worse. As per usual. Lily Jean apparently released a video including Preeming's full name. So yeah, just doxed him to the whole world once again. They put my legal name in a video and then simultaneously filed a privacy complaint against me. I could not make this up if I tried. Wow, I thought you guys couldn't get any dumber. It turns out you continue to prove me wrong. If Lily Jean and her mother ever go to court, they are so f I'm sorry, they are screwed, man. They won't have a leg to stand on. At this point, do I even need to say it gets any worse? Because it does. It's Lily Jean and her mother. They're notorious for making things worse. They wrote this, which I found absolutely just hilarious. The amount of contradiction and hypocrisy is just beautiful. Mwah. Additionally, I do not recognize Mr. Curtis Price of... They listed my location. United Kingdom as anything other than a stalker. I'm the stalker. Sorry, I'm just pulling information from the public eye. I'm just pulling information from Google, from other YouTube videos. You literally went after my family and found private information and released it to everyone. How am I the stalker? <laughs> Which I have two United Kingdom police reports. I am going to assume Mr. Curtis Price is Miss Cleo's legal representation at this point forward. Oh, okay, so you're just going to assume that, are you? You're just going to create that assumption out of thin air? On what basis? Am I someone's legal representation? <laughs> Mr. Price has been stalking me since I was a teenager at 19 years old. Teenager? At 19 years old? It, is that possible to be a teenager and an adult at the same time? Hmm. But I understand what narrative she's trying to push you like I've been stalking her since she was a teenager. Well, Lily, if you were a teenager when I was making those videos, then that would have made me a teenager as well because we're the same age, dumb he originally came from the Lily Jean clone cult, which was a group from neo-Nazi websites. Sorry, are you accusing me of being a part of the Lily Jean clone cult? I'm not one of your followers. I'm not a part of the 1.1 million clones that you have. <laughs> no, I've never followed you. I lost so much at such a young age and was terrorized by a grown man. <laughs> Not only does he profit off me, but his obsession is creepy, hideous, and absorbing. <laughs> absorbing? Really? <laughs> I'm absorbing you? Am I? <laughs> I have not seen one dime of money. In fact, I'm a struggling actress just trying to make it in this world. Yeah, you're a struggling actress because you're shit. That's nothing to do with me, love. It's nothing to do with my videos. You just suck at acting, all right? And also, my obsession is creepy. Every video I've made on you is in response to something you did to me first. And also, you lost so much at such a young age after being terrorized by a grown man. You were a grown woman when I made those videos. We're the same age. Uh! Oh, yeah, and look at that as well. She called us mentally unwell. <laughs> I mean, she's got a point, to be fair. Only someone who's mentally unwell would laugh at being docs, to be honest with you. Yeah, used to being mentally unwell, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and the worst part about it is, as well, is that YouTube haven't really done much about it. Like, Preeming has been trying to, like, communicate with them on Twitter. And I tried, like, two years ago. They didn't care. They didn't even respond to me. And if they're not going to respond to Preeming, they're not going to respond to me, are they? But they did reply to Preeming, and they said they, they're going to look into it. But Lily Jean's lifelong goal of being famous is very counterproductive. She can't take criticism, and it comes hand in hand, unfortunately, you can't avoid it. If you want to be famous, you're gonna have to receive hate. Even the best people in the world, some of the greatest people in the world have received hate. Look at Jesus Christ, for example. That man lived a sinless life, and still people hate him. So the fact that you believe you can become famous and not receive any criticism is just pure delusion. If you wanna become famous, you have to learn to take criticism, and my advice for you, Lily Gina Mother, would be to p off. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Why don't you stop trying to take down every video critiquing you and just take a step back? The only reason these videos are being created because you're coming after everybody. World of delusion. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, check out my other videos right here. They're both Lily Jean videos, actually. This is the one where I talk about Cleo being uh, striked, and this one is about my doxing. So check it out.